Welcome new Aggies. And for those of you who are returning, we're so glad to have you back. If you don't already know, I'm Chancellor May and this is my wife, Lachelle. Hi. Uh, every week we do a short show called Thursday Thoughts where we answer questions that you send us. Today, we're at the Walter A. Robinson Welcome Center, a place you may have visited while checking out UC Davis. And it's not just the Welcome Center that's a welcoming place. Davis is about the friendliest place you'll ever live. So don't be shy. If you see us walking around campus or town, be sure to say hello and introduce yourself. We love meeting our Aggies. We do. Now let's get on to your questions. Um, I'll go first. Okay. All right. Do you have any tips for new students adjusting to being away from home? Yes. What did you tell our daughters? <laughs> Don't call me. No, <laughs> I'm joking. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm seriously. No, the first two, three weeks, you may cry. And that's okay. Yeah. My first tip, it is okay to cry. Because yeah. your parents are probably crying too. I cried. You cried. I as cried as a student. I cried as a parent. You cried for three weeks. Yeah. But... Well, you know, I'm, I'm just saying it's okay to cry. And that then, was a bit extreme and I'm still okay. Right? Then you got dehydrated and you had no more tears. So. But that was as a parent. <laughs> well, as a student, I didn't cry right. that long because I then met friends. Right, so I always right. say, eat at the dining hall, just mingle as best you can. You always meet somebody where you eat. I found that. Okay, I've got a little different advice. I okay. would say you're away from home, many of you, for the first time and you don't have any supervision or restrictions. So Try to stay disciplined, go to class, <laughs> do your homework. Remember your priorities, you're here to learn first. And I know there's lots of social events and other things that you're gonna be interested in. Don't let them become too much of a distraction because we want you to be successful here uh, as a student. You're so. talking about the student who is well integrated socially. I was addressing the student who may not be well integrated and we'll have, socially. We'll have some of both of those, so that's fine. We give two different pieces of advice. But one thing we always say is join an affinity club of some sort. Find a club, weekend. follow yeah. your passion, find some like-minded right. people, do that as well. Yeah. Yeah. You're next. All right. What do you like most about your school and campus community? You know, I would say we alluded to it during the uh, intro. Um, it's a friendly place. People are nice. They try to be helpful. Uh, they genuinely, uh, as you, if you're a student, we genuinely want you to succeed here. So we pro provide all sorts of resources to make that happen. Uh, it's an excellent academic institution. Uh, we just got rankings that said we've moved up uh, to the number six public university in the country. I'm really excited about that. Uh, what do you think? Um, what do you like same. most about yeah. Davis? Um, How about the city of Davis? The city the of community. Davis, yeah. Um, I, the weather, you can't be beat. Um, Weather's good. It's a great, for me, it's a great running community, great cycling community. It's running, flat, it's flat, so yeah. running is good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, and the people warm. Good um, restaurants. Yeah, right. Yeah, all that good stuff. All that stuff, okay. I see. Uh, so do you have any advice for parents whose kids are now in college? Um, you, it's okay to cry. <laughs> I think we got that. I have the same response. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're saying that, but when, the, when our oldest first left, not at the moment we were dropping her off, but when she got accepted, you were you and her Ready were in the mode where you're like, That's right. can she leave today? That's right. <laughs> but That's all right. that changed. That's right. <laughs> Simone, don't be upset. Right. But one thing but, is I do, I, I also have another point that to let them grow up. Don't try to study for them. Let them figure out the classes, the professors. Because if you get involved, then it's like your degree and not theirs. So I would, I was a hands off, although I shed tears. You, you took mine. I was going to say, you know, we have this phenomenon of the helicopter parent. Don't let that be you. Your student is going to make uh, mistakes. Uh, they're going to struggle a little bit and have challenges. Maybe yeah. uh, let them figure it out. That's yeah. part of growing up. That's part yeah. of development. Um, I know it's kind of hard to, to stay away and stay uh, hands off, but um, and, and not for extreme cases, obviously, if there's something uh, egregious that happens, get involved. But uh, as they learn to make friends and, uh, you know, have challenges in the classroom and other sorts of things, let them find their way through it. That's how they're going right. to become a better citizen, a better person and a better graduate. Right. Tenacity. That's what got yeah. us both through college and et cetera. That's what I always say. You're the most tenacious person yes. I've ever met. You too. All right, what is something you'd like newcomers to know about UC Davis? Newcomers, um, well, I've kind of covered some of that. I think 
it's a quality place. Uh, it's a wonderful place to learn and do research and to make friends and to grow. Um, you know, we used to say it was kind of a hidden gem. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think it's as hidden as it used to be, but mm -hmm. uh, I think uh, UC Davis is, uh, you know, one of the top public universities in the country. I think that's well established now. Uh, but it's also a place where you can uh, find yourself and find your passions and find uh, the career that you might want when you graduate. Because there's so many, well, you did mention you, how many disciplines are there? A I lot. may not know there's we 100 plus. More than 100 undergraduate uh, degree programs yeah. and almost 100, I think, graduate and professional programs. So uh, there's something for everybody here and that's just the academics. Right. There's hundreds of clubs and, and student organizations as well. So there's something for everyone here. Yeah, and it, I, I would suspect that if you came here with a certain major and it didn't work out for you, one thing about UC Davis, you always have an option here. Like some schools may not have that that comprehensive and, you know, and, program. and many of our students have double majors and right, minors and majors. all kinds of yeah. uh, uh, permutations of the different degree programs. So, so. there's uh, many ways to find the right niche for you and your uh, your career. So well, if I had to offer answer this question, I would say where we are actually the Welcome Center. We have the Shrem Museum, we have the Mandavi Center. They're both great uh, performing arts and uh, museum that I didn't know were he here until I got here. So that's a neat uniqueness about this campus for sure. These are things that distinguish us from other campuses yeah. and differentiate us yeah. uh, in terms of what we have to offer yeah. our educational community. So mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Last question. What's on your mind this week? Well, I have a lot of wedding on my mind. <laughs> We're finalizing, you know, the list. So right now I'm, I'm focused on flowers for Simone, a photographer and her wedding shoes. I've been looking at wedding shoes this week. <laughs> so I'm thinking we're this in the we're in the TMI portion of the show. Well, it's the truth. <laughs> uh, for those who don't know, our oldest daughter is getting married in May. And I, I don't have it on my mind because they don't tell me anything except when it's time to pay. Right. So, <laughs> so it should be on your mind because we may ask you to pay. <laughs> yeah, so, someone asked me the other day, "Are you going to cry?" I said, "I'm only going to cry when I get the bill." Um, <laughs> So until next week, uh, Aggie, stay healthy, stay safe. Go, Go Ags. Ags. <laughs>